It's Tuesday, February the 14th, 2017. Thank you for joining me today in our video devotion. Again, we're in Hebrews 11. I'm reading verses 32 through 35. Here's what it says. What more shall I say? For the time would fail me to tell of Gideon and Barak and Samson and Jephthah, also of David and Samuel and the prophets who through faith subdued kingdoms, worked righteousness, obtained promises, stopped the mouths of lions, quenched the violence of fire, escaped the edge of the sword, out of weakness were made strong, became valiant in battle, turned to flight the armies of the aliens, and women received their dead, raised to life again. Today, we're taking just a very brief look at one of the little phrases here, and that was of David subduing kingdoms. I know maybe the, the most famous of all the battles of David was that, that battle he had with Goliath and how he slew the giant. But because of David's faith, many kingdoms that were at war with Israel were brought into submission to the nation of Israel during King David's reign. And in 2 Samuel 8 and in 1 Chronicles 18, we read a number of, of just the summaries of those stories. And so I want to do that today just to help us understand that God is with us in our battles, that he wants us to conquer in the, in the spiritual warfare that we're in. in. 1 Samuel 8, 6, it says, Then David put garrisons in Syria of Damascus, and the Syrians became servants to David and brought tribute. So the Lord preserved David wherever he went. In uh, 1 Samuel 8, 11, and 12, we have more of these nations becoming submitted to Israel. So David also dedicated these to the Lord, along with the silver and gold that he had dedicated from all the nations whom he had subdued, from Syria, from Moab, from the people of Ammon, from the Philistines, from Amalek, and from the spoil of Hadadezer, the son of Rahab, king of Zobah. All these kingdoms he had brought into submission to Israel, he had defeated them in battle. In 1 Chronicles 18, 13, he also put garrisons in Edom, and all the Edomites became David's servants. David, by faith, subdued all the kingdoms around Israel. Now, in a great sense, we have left that battle scene as followers of Jesus Christ. We're not doing hand-to-hand -hand conflict with the enemies of the cross. People who stand up against us, who who scream obscenities and call us vile names and say that we aren't worthy to even exist on the planet. We're not doing hand-to-hand -hand conflict with them. We are, however, engaged in a spiritual battle with principalities, with powers, with the rulers of the darkness of this age and the spiritual host of wickedness in heavenly places. And by faith, we must overcome these unseen forces. We have got to fight this battle. We must wage a spiritual warfare through prayer, through faith, and through perseverance. And I say, if God be for us, who can be against us? And we must do this battle as we have been instructed in 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verses 3, 4, and 5. It says, for though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. The weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but are mighty through God to the pulling down the strongholds, casting down imaginations, and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Jesus Christ. Wow, that's the spiritual warfare we're engaged in. Yes, we see by faith David subdued kingdoms, but I submit to you that right now you and I are fighting against spiritual wickedness in high places. We're fighting against principalities and powers and the rulers of the darkness of this age. And we're doing it by faith. We're believing God that we will conquer that which has come against us. We will not submit ourselves to the devil, to the flesh, or to the world. We will be overcomers because we know that this is a spiritual battle. And we must bring every one of our thoughts into submission and obedience to Jesus Christ. We bring it captive so it submits to what God says and what God wants us to do. So I challenge you today, by faith, be victorious. Let's pray together. 
Lord, thank you for all the examples in this lengthy hall of fame of faith in Hebrews 11 that teach us that God fights our battles for us. And everywhere we go, God is with us. And so today I'm believing you're going to be with every one of your followers. And we're not going to give in, surrender, throw up a white flag to all these forces lined up against us. But we're going to overcome them by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of our testimony. Give us your strength. Add to our faith your courage. And we trust you today to assist us in this battle. In Jesus' name, amen. Be blessed. God loves you and God's with you. Have a great day.